going on guys fmu here welcome back to another episode of grassroots to greatness so today we've got crystal palace away in the league and things have been going okay for us so far so let's go and have a look at the results normally i'd do the results round up a bit but i just I, I like i said the other day i haven't really got time to with the editing and stuff so i apologize for that so first up you saw us beat stoke on the opening day we were lucky to get that to be honest we then trounced one of our former clubs in newcastle by four goals to two they were by far the better team they should have beaten us but on the day uh, marcello bello and tran really up their game uh and we won by four goals to two it, it was it was lucky i think i think on another day newcastle had trounced us to be fair uh, then a understrength side went away to wickham in the cup and beat them by a goal to nil we were very dominant in this match there's no doubts about it we just struggled to get over the line uh, in terms of goal scoring you know we were a bit lax in the goal front as you can tell we only won one nil then we got beat by leicester city no surprises there they are a good team on this save as well as they are in real life now um jordi verhook with both goals in the 83rd and the 89th minute bit of a sucker punch uh from leicester to beat us in what was a very even game uh walter vidal is getting his first goal for us there and then we went to manchester city of all teams and nicked a 1-0 win they were probably the better side in terms of the whole game but we did have very very good spells we ended up finishing the game with nine uh yeah nine men because we had uh, vidales off injured after using all three subs and then uh, fiala got sent off towards the end so we had to play the last few moments of stoppage time with nine men uh, which wasn't uh, wasn't perfect to say the least we then went to west brom and lost um we we're very inconsistent but west brom I did look at the players' stats and stuff, but they seem to have the fastest players in the world. They just seem to be, like, flying up and down the pitch like madmen. And we just, we just couldn't keep up with them. They were just so quick. It was unbelievable. We then went to Birmingham, uh, Championship Strugglers Birmingham in the Cup. And finally, Casper Cole finally managed to find the score sheet and then just kept finding it. He hit four goals in that match, uh, the last of which a penalty. Uh, McNair was never going to take the ball off, uh, the ball off Cole. He, he wanted four goals. He was going to get four goals. And uh, it was good because the press was starting to pick on him because of his lack of goals since joining. So it was good for him to get those four goals. We then... Uh, Nick to draw against Arsenal thanks to uh, Camel Tran uh, Rui Pedro gave them the lead on 23 minutes we equalised we were fantastic in this game uh, sorry I'm pausing because I've got the Brighton Middlesbrough game on Middlesbrough winning 1-0 and they nearly made it 2 um, yeah so we, we were fairly dominant in this match and deserved the point uh, I think if we'd have nicked it uh, and one that would have been pushing it just a little bit but uh you know a point was a fair result in the end for me and then last time out we came from behind to beat middlesbrough they took a lead on 10 minutes and middlesbrough are really struggling uh this season and i wasn't very happy at half time so i gave them an absolute rocket and uh, traore and bello cropped up with two goals in the space of five minutes and we managed to hold on and win the match which once we got in front we absolutely dominated and could have had a lot lot more goals so um Let's address the American, Mr. Bent, down at Brentford. I wanted to sign him. I really wanted to sign him. And no matter what I said to him or tried, he wouldn't. He was not interested in the least about coming to us. So we're going to play the long ball with him. We're at the long ball, the long game with him. And we're going to wait and wait and wait. If, if Brentford carry on the way they are, they're going to go down and then maybe we'll be able to nick him off them. Look at Liverpool struggling. Imagine if they went down. That would be an interesting one to do. Leave Everton to go to Liverpool. Sacrilege, yes, but a challenge of wonderful proportions. And my God, somebody's got to do something about Manchester City's freaking dominance. Look. 
since 2016, 17, only Chelsea have won it otherwise. And to be fair, look at that. Since 2013, 14, it's only Chelsea who have managed to knock them off the perch on this save. Crazy stuff. Transfers, I don't remember, I don't think anything else in wise has happened since you were last with me. Uh, Bello. Oh, uh, Marcello Silviero. This young boy, we picked him up on a £110,000 deal. Um, he looks like he could grow into something decent. He's on the loan list to go out. He's finishing his very, very decent. Um, obviously, he's just moved to this country, so not expecting him to set the world alight. Um, but... Burnley have just taken Burnley have just taken the lead, so that's them champions as it stands. Um, yeah, so uh, he could turn out to be a very decent player. Outgoing wise, uh, bah, 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 just having a little look through. Rose went out on loan. Moss out on loan. Uh, Yao has gone out to Southampton. Uh, Jerome went out to Oldham. Uh, Greenwood's gone to Colchester. He actually wanted to go out on loan. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to stand in your way with old flower pot. And Paul Berry has actually gone back to Bolton on loan. He was doing well. He was getting in the team. Look at that. One game, one goal. Bish, bash, bosh. Back at Bolton. Back in the goals. Gotta love that guy. Um, he was doing well for me, but I was... I'm, <laughs> He's only 19. He's got a bit of time to for me to work with him. Um, depending on obviously how long we're at Everton for. But he's got I've got a bit of time to work with him and hopefully we can get get him kicking on uh, maybe next season. Um, or when he comes back off his loan. In terms of our former loves, Bolton Wanderers, they are eleventh in the league, doing all right. They're not doing too badly at all. Um Blah, 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 where they're gone. There they are, 90, only a point off the playoffs, look. So, you know, they're having a, a fairly decent run of things in that division. And uh, fair play to them for that. I, I really hope they go up again. I just want them to carry on going up now. Um, I really enjoyed my time at Bond. I'm so annoyed that I did, you know, that I clipped the wrong thing. And, oh, never mind. I think I'd have got sacked anyway because the chairman, new chairman, just didn't like me. He thought I was an idiot, I think. Uh, Regis Kalali, you can go on the bench. Uh, Mansell, I want to give him some playing time. You're injured. Oh, my. Oh, my, oh, my. Well, time for you to step up, Balde. Hernani, Hernani Balde. Uh, should we call him Hermani? <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. Hermani Balde. He's played in the cup and done well for us so he's, he's played in you know he's played for um, Maritimo over in Portugal in the Premier League so he's um, you know he's played he's played some football this lad he's not uh, he, it's not as if he's just stepping out into the unknown I'm going to have to switch the highlights on because when I've been playing offline and slow that down because people say it's too quick on that setting that I normally have it on. So for you, my little children, we will change it. And we're going to go with a passionate team talk today. And uh, we should challenge them from the off. That's really got on going, hasn't it? Nah. We just have the back of an international break as well. Casper uh, Cole, by the way, has now made an, uh, an England appearance. So that's a bloody good thing. That's pumped his value up by a couple of million. He was valued at around about 11. Now he's valued at 15 after an appearance for England and four goals against Birmingham in the Cup. Go on. Hebo, Marcello. Tran's hit the post. Oh, Tran is a very good striker. I am, I am really starting to appreciate the skill of Tran the man. And there he is. Look at that. Tran the man gets a goal. Against Christ Hall Palace. That, my friends, was beautiful. Let's have a little look at it on the 3D highlights. This is that awkward bit where I try and fill the uh, first highlight loading. Uh, by just babbling even more crap than usual. Uh, I like cheese sandwiches and I like pizza. There you go. Uh, Mansell, great ball through to Tran. Takes it past his man. And slots it in where he can. Hey, I'm like Alan Smith, off uh, off of the Sky TV. 
with my rhyming. Not. Uh, so, Moy Gomez is a very good player. He, what? Oh, oh my goodness. That was shocking. That was shocking straight from the kickoff. Though. I did not expect that. Look at this. Good save from Tut. Well, not really. He kind of flapped it out of his own hands. He's had some cracking games, though, Tuck has. He's actually been um, watched a lot by the England manager. Oh, go on, Baldy. Sounds like I'm abusing him. Go on, Simon. Go on. Go on. Go on, Marcello! Second of the season. 30 minutes on the clock. 2-1. Let's not fuck it up and go and concede straight away, though, boys, eh? Let's try and at least hold on for a couple of minutes. Mansell again. That's two assists for Mansell. That is very, very good stuff. I'm happy with that. Oh, oh, good. Oh, he saved it. Well done, that man. You see, the trouble is, we've got three really good left-sided midfielders. I didn't expect to get uh, Bello, to be honest. There was a bit of competition for him, and I didn't expect to get him because we had a righty on loan from Newcastle again. Oh, what a ball to Tran. Tran? Tran? Oh, Oh, dear. Um, yeah, we had Wright on loan and Mansell, and I thought, we won't get Bello, because there was some bigger... Uh, no, not being disrespectful to Everton, but there were some, in this save, much, much bigger teams looking at him. And he chose to come to us, and we offered him the least money, I believe. Because we, I really haggled him right down. I was like, I am paying you that money, my friend. You know, you're untested in our fair country, in the Premier League, Go on. Ooh. Um, but yeah, he was he was happy to take less money and come to Everton. Perhaps he just really wanted to play in the Premier League. Or penalty. Penaltio. Who's taking it? Because I don't think McNair's on the pitch, is he? Or is he? I can't remember what shirt number he is. Oxford. Oh, he scored. Well done, young man. First ever goal for the club. Happy days. 3-1. So nonchalant. They just sort of sauntered up and clicked it in. Oh, also, my wife is going out tonight, um, which will be the day this video goes up, uh, Just uh, which is today when I'm recording it. Uh, Saturday, the uh, 7th of May 2016. Just for those of you who don't know, my brother's birthday. And he has scored again. I don't like him. I don't like him at all. Have a look at this. Mind you, they've probably got the measure of... Um, oh, what's his name? I can't remember his name now. My Defender Man. <laughs> what's his surname? I can't remember. We'll find out in a minute because we're going to go on here. Uh, Fiala, that's it, because he used to play for Palace. So they've probably got the measure of him. Uh, Mansell, you've been fantastic. You've assisted all three goals. I'm going to pop you there and then I'm going to move you to there. And then we're going to bring off for Mr. Wright. And I'm going to give you a run on... Oh, balls, click the wrong one. I was meant to click the team top one. Um, yeah, my wife's going out, so I may live stream later on today. So keep an eye on Twitter if you're watching this today. Um, and I will say words when, if, and when I do it. Go on. Oh, Baldy! Whoa, I am chuffed to bits for that young man. Well done, young lad. Casper Cole, great ball through. Markello, good save from the goalkeeper. But there's Balde straight in there. Hermani Baldy, <laughs> as I think we'll call him. Hermani Baldy has scored. Balde. Oh, Baldy! <laughs> He's got a second. He is on fire. That's why he's bold, eh? He's burnt all of his hair off, even though he's got a lot of hair. That is a beautiful finish. Remember last time I said he reminded me of Jose Botello? I think he could be the next Jose Botello. Imagine that. That'd be awesome. Go on. Go on. Go on. Cole, go! First goal in the Premier League, 6-2.
Casper Cole and it's changed his face and hair randomly for no reason as it tends to do in matches. Lovely ball throw. And Casper Cole, cool as you like. 6-2. And we're just going to carry on. I'm not taking it off attacking. We're just going to... Because we, who knows? At the end of the season, goal difference could really matter. So the more we can score, the better. I want Bolde to get a hat trick now. Cole! Seven. Oh my days. Did not expect this. Did not expect that. Great little dink through and Cole, he's woken up, hasn't he? He's remembered that he scored a bucket load of goals for Huddersfield in the Premier League. And he's like, I'm going to do it at Everton now. Finally reunited. The, the love affair, the bromance between me and Casper Cole has re been reunited. It's been nearly 10 years in the making since we were last together or something stupid. Like, I don't think it's been that long, but I'll just say it has. Uh, it's been several years in the making, should I say. 7-2. 7-2. Is that the highest we've seen in this series so far on a live com? I think it may well be. If you can remember, if you're one of those wonderful people who can remember that sort of stuff, let me know, because I can't remember. I don't remember what happened in the last episode, me. Uh, but 7-2, that's got to be a passionate kiss on the face for them all. That is superb. And bold, eh? You, young man, passionately, your performance was superb, as was Mr. Mansell. I, I don't normally give them... I mean, Casper Coles was good, but theirs was superb. I mean, Markello's was good. They were all good today, apart from... Uh, Tuck was probably the one that let us down a bit, and the two defenders weren't on top form, but I'm happy with that. I mean, with fifth... 16 points. Sheffield Wednesday just above us. Middlesbrough and Brentford still having a bit of a struggle. Liverpool. Liverpool. I wonder when we've got the Merseyside derby. Because that would be a cracking live come. Probably be a nil-nil now I've said that. Do it as a live come. Get all excited and then it'd be like a, a one highlight kickoff, one highlight at half time, like second half kickoff and full time whistle highlight and we'll be like, well, that was shit. Let's have a look. Please first. Yes, very good. Very good. Yeah, he was the cream of the crop. That kid. That kid. I'm I I'm very excited about his face. Um b -b 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 Liverpool. I've got Manchester United there. Oh, that's it. That's it. That bad boy right there is the next live comp. Liverpool away. Anfield. The mighty, mighty Everton versus the mighty Liverpool. Two great clubs face to face in your face. Guys, I'm going to show you the finance before we go. We just have a little look at that. I My spending has depleted it quite a lot. Uh, we've, we've actually caned out £13 million this season of losses so far. But hopefully that will balance itself out as we carry on. Um But for now, guys, I'm out of time. Uh, thank you so much for the support since I've started doing the videos again it's been awesome uh, thanks for the comments uh i really do appreciate it all the love that you throw my way is much appreciated i am on 995 followers on twitter i have been like five to six away from a thousand for what feels like 300 years now so if there's anybody watching these who do not follow me on twitter and you have a twitter and you want to follow me on twitter i will be your bestest friend in the world if you do now that's that don't hold me to that but i will be very grateful and you are all my friends we're all friends here we're all here for the same reason so if you do want to drop me a follow on twitter it would be a magnificent thing for you to do and just look at it as your good deed for the, the day no matter what day you're watching it on thank you very much guys i'm gonna shut up now because i'm boring myself it's been a pleasure being in your face goodbye family